everyone welcome back to scripture saturday this is a segment where we'll be reading a portion of scripture that i found helpful funny or quite insightful and today is kind of helpful insightful day so let's get into it if you're wondering why i'm in the car for this episode it's because my family members are doing the most today <laughs> Um, so this is the only quiet place I could find for this today. Um, if you like me, this week has been a lot. I'm trying to grow in my patience. I didn't realize it was, a, it was a lesson that I needed to learn, but clearly Holy Spirit's like. So today's scripture is from Psalm 20, from verse 7. And if you like me, when you have one of those weeks, those testing, trying, everything's a lot weak. You know what I mean? And sometimes it lines up with certain cycles. And sometimes it doesn't line up with certain cycles. And it's just be a lot of a week. And I'm just like, I... Mm -mm. You know? And it's just very difficult for me to to get in the word <laughs> for me. I'm still learning and I'm growing and I'm I'm getting better, hopefully, by the, by the grace of God. Um, where I'm like, you know, I need to get in the word. I need to pray. I need to commune with God because that's a relationship that I do value. Um, and he means so much to me and I mean a lot to him. So I kind of owe it to him. He, I mean, he died, he died for me guys. I, I mean, it's the least I could do <laughs> at this point. You know what I mean? Like he died for me. So it's the least I can do is be like, Hey, what's up? Let's, let's hang out for a little bit. Anyway, so in those moments where the week has been weaking and I don't really like, I don't, I don't want to do it. Um, the Lord's very kind. He is very kind with me. Um, most times. <laughs> today he fetched my, my entire life. He fetched my entire life today. Um, and if you, if you want context, go read Psalm 95. Cause girl, oh guy, I don't know who's watching. And so anyway so in his kindness he does bring about scriptures whether i'm like scrolling through a feed or like whatever like scriptures kind of come up and one of the scriptures that i'd seen and i'd forgotten who the uh, content creator was had posted something from psalm 20 but from verse 4 but what stuck out to me is verse 7 and it says some find their strength in their weapons and wisdom but my miracle deliverance can never be won by men our boast is in the Lord our God who makes us strong and gives us victory. Why that verse stood out for me, again, there's areas of our lives where some areas are really great and some areas are not. And I sometimes wonder, and again, you know, it might just be a me thing, but I don't think it's just a me thing, where why it takes so much spiritual discipline to get... Um, not just spiritual discipline but like practices and yieldedness and all the things to get doors open to have access to certain things or you know just different different things and having blessings or having i don't know you know what i mean just i don't know what that might look like for you i know what it looks like for me specifically and it's like father like why do we have to fast this much and why do i have to spend hours in prayer about this particular thing and why do i need deliverance from this thing over and over and over and why do i need to continuously be in deliverance why do i continuously need to be in repentance why you know what i mean and it almost seems like oh my word like it's just one thing after another after another it's like the little things that just like pile up and you're like okay I need to pray and fast for this, you know. Um, I'm noticing this is happening and I need to pray and fast for this. And there's a delay in this area and it's been habitual and a bit generational. And we need to pray and fast for that. And it's like, whoo, why? <laughs> anyway, and so this, this scripture kind of gave me context. It's like some find their strength in their weapons and wisdom. But my miracle deliverance can never be won by men. You know, it's, I, I say that I want a God story in everything. You know, I want a God love story. I want a God story in my career. I want a God story in my finances. I want a God story in, in, in owning a house one day. I've got, I want a God story for my kids one day. Like, I just want a God story. I want God's name all over it. You know what I mean? Like, I want Jesus to be like, yes, in everything. I want every part of my life to scream out his name. When that is my heart's desire, when that's a request I brought before the Lord, that means every other part of me needs to lessen so that he can increase, right? I think that John says that. And so 
and in verse 7 it says but my miracle deliverance can never be won by men my boast our boast is in the lord our god who makes us strong and gives us victory and so ultimately that means that it needs to come from god my victory my deliverance all of this all the things i'm asking for need to come from him and it's a little bit more trickier because i keep putting my fingers <laughs> in all of it i keep putting my fingers in all of it in all, in all of it and then God's like, well, that's not mine then. If you are all... And then I'm like, oh, okay. So anyway, I feel like this scripture sign is going to be long. <laughs> I just found the scripture a lot more helpful for me just to give perspective on why things um, might be a little bit more challenging for me. I mean, someone else would be like, well, this is easy compared to me. And someone else might be, this is really challenging. I don't know how you do this. I don't know. Everything's very relative, very like um, subjective because each makeup is very different. And certain people can handle certain things and certain people can't handle certain things. Like for me, I can't handle mango. I'm sorry. Not my, not my cup of tea, not my thing. And some people be like, you're crazy. Why, why don't you like mango? Mm. <laughs> um but you know what i mean that's a very like trivial very small thing but that's something that i just can't do you know and so while i'm processing what i can and cannot do it's been very helpful to know that if i want a god story if i want god to take the glory and out of my life if he wants if i want his name all over every aspect of my life I firstly have to make sure that I take my fingers out of that pie. <laughs> and number two, um, allow him to do so because he is a gentleman. And until until I, I surrender, it's going to be difficult for me. So, yeah. I hope it's been encouraging. <laughs> So let me know what your thoughts are on the scripture, Psalm 20 verse 7. Let me know if you've got different revelations or different insight. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, and you can just, you know, pop them in the comments and all the things. Yeah, I hope that it has helped you and was encouraging. And I will catch you next time. Bye.